How are we? Have you been finding that your system performance is very slow? Doing something as simple as right clicking is taking a long time. Noticing that your disk is always at 100%. Well, today I'm going to show you some steps to combat those issues and hopefully sort those problems. Now, as always, these videos aren't going to be high quality. They might even be pathetic looking, but I'm going to get you there. Before we begin, I need to let you know that this is for a Windows based system only. That is Windows based only. If you are operating on a Mac OS, this video is not for you. You will also need to make sure that you have full admin access to your machine. Now onto a critical note. You need to make sure that your device is plugged into its charging cable or plugged into its power source adequately. It will need to remain plugged in and powered on the entire time. The first thing you want to do on your Windows based system is click on the little Windows icon on the lower left of the screen. Or alternative, you can click on the search bar. Next, I want you to type in CMD. That's C for Charlie, M for Mike, D for Delta. You will see an application called Command Prompt appear. What I want you to do is right click the command prompt with your mouse, go to the Run As Administrator, and then left click the Run As Administrator to open it. This will bring up a black box. That black box is your command prompt. We will be putting in some commands within. Now with your keyboard, what I want you to do is type in SFC, make a space with your spacebar, forward slash scan now. That's S for Sam, F for Foxtrot, C for Charlie. Make a space with your spacebar. Do a forward slash, S for Sam, C for Charlie, A for Alpha, N for November, another N for November, O for Oscar, W for Whiskey. If you are confused on how to make a forward slash, you hold the shift key on your keyboard and then push the button that has the question mark with the forward slash. That will make the forward slash appear. Once you have typed that in, I want you to push the enter key. Pushing the enter key will bring up the scan process to repair the system. Let this go through without interruption. Depending on how many issues there are, it could take a few minutes or it could even take up to an hour. In a quick summary, the SFC forward slash scan now pretty much repairs corrupted files within Windows. Once that is complete, it is now time to run another command. If you close the command prompt, just follow the steps we did prior to open up the command prompt again as an administrator. Now I want you to type the following using your keyboard. C H K D S K, make a space with your spacebar, forward slash F, forward slash R, forward slash X. That's C for Charlie, H for Hotel, K for Kilo, D for Delta, S for Sam, K for Kilo, make a space with your spacebar, forward slash F for Foxtrot, forward slash R for Romeo, forward slash X for X-Ray. Push Enter. It will run a quick process then inform you that check this can only be run upon computer restart. It will then ask you to type in either Y for yes or N for no on running the command. What I'm going to get you to do now is type in the letter Y and then push enter. The check disk is now scheduled to run upon computer reboot. So now I'll get you to click on the start button on the lower left screen, go to the power button and then push Restart. This will reboot your machine and kick off the check disk. Let your system reboot. The check disk process will begin automatically. Once it begins, leave it alone to run its course. Depending on how many issues you have, it could take 30 minutes, it could take several hours, but best to leave it alone and ensure you are plugged into your charger or plugged into a power source adequately. In a quick summary, Check disk fixes bugs or errors on the hard drive, along with fixing sectors and cluster issues. Once the check disk is complete and your system has loaded into Windows again, I want you to click on the start button in the lower left and type in this PC. Click the this PC app that appears. 
This will take you to where your system drives reside. Focusing on our C drive, I want you to right click the C drive with your mouse, go to properties and left click the properties. This will bring up a box. Within the box, I want you to click on tools. Within tools, you'll find an option that says error checking with a button that says check. I want you to push the check button. Another box will pop up asking you if you would like to scan the drive. I want you to click on scan drive. This will now check for further errors and then repair them. You will see that it shows an estimated time. Let it run completely. Once complete, a new box will pop up either indicating that no errors were found or errors were found and they were repaired. You can close that box. And there we have it. Those three processes will aid greatly in improving your system's performance. Another thing I'll get you to do is check your BIOS to see if it needs to be updated. If you don't know how to find your computer information, you can refer back to my prior video, finding your computer information slash system information. Once you pull up the computer information, you'll be able to see what BIOS version you have. It is then best to go to your provider's website to pull the BIOS update. In my instance, my machine is HP. So I'm going to go to the HP website, type in my computer model, and then load the latest BIOS. If you are not familiar with how to update your BIOS, I would seek technical support with this one, as doing something wrong or loading the incorrect BIOS could break your system. I also have two other videos for solving sluggish performance. One of them is called Windows Services That Slow Down Your System, and the other is Your Hard Drive Dirty. Be sure to check them out.